Yeah, it's just like what I said. Elon will basically continue doing most of the same things that were being done before, only in a slightly different way, in a slightly better way, and do it in ways that'll make some people think he's cool. But he's just another globalist, just like Trump, actually. It's all part of the show, but most people don't get it. And, you know, I don't know what to tell them, really. Like, the, the only way they'll get it is what they'll one day finally realize, and by then it'll probably be way too late. But a lot of those sort of people will kind of hate me along the way. It's sort of been the, the way I've been most of my life. I've been mostly saying it the way it is all my life, and a lot of people hate me for it. People don't like to know the truth. You can't handle the truth. I don't care, though. I'm just going to say what I think's going on. And uh, I don't care if anyone likes me or anything. I, most people don't even know about me. <laughs> it's like, I'm like super banned. I mostly just do these videos. I don't even know if really how many people watch it or I don't even really care. Do you, Lucy? Oh, no, I don't really care. I, I do get the sense some people know who I am. Whenever I go to Narcopoco, everyone seems to know my name and they give me tacos. And, you know, I don't mind that one bit. I know you don't, Lucy. But, uh... The FTX thing's still kind of going on. It's amazing. Like Ross Ulbricht, who started the Silk Road 10 years ago, it was a website. He created a website and it made it so people could trade things that they wanted, mostly plants that actually expand your consciousness dramatically. That's mostly what people traded on there. And uh, when, they, when the US government found them, they charged them with more than two, they convicted them of more than two life sentences, which is beyond, like if you don't see how crazy that is, two life sentences, you only have one life, right? Apparently in the afterlife, they're gonna sentence him again or something. They put him in a maximum security prison. He's been in there for like 10 years for creating a website. That's all he did. The US government stole all the Bitcoin, by the way, which he'd be a billionaire today. And uh, all for starting a website. Then you have Sam Bankman Fried, who uh, stole billions of dollars from people, defrauded them, uh, wasted tons of it, and gambled a bunch of it away, then money laundered it <laughs> through the Ukraine with Zelensky back to the demon rats. <laughs> and uh, he's like still in his penthouse in the Bahamas. You know, his $35 million penthouse from the guy who uh, always told everyone that he doesn't really care about money. He drives a Toyota Corolla and his goal is to give away all his money. I wanted to get rich, not because I like money, but because I wanted to give that money to charity. Probably one of the biggest frauds. The, the guy who uh, handled the Enron fraud is now in charge of the FTX fraud. And he's like, this is like a million times worse. <laughs> it's one of the biggest frauds in human history. He stole and lost and, and stole billions and billions and billions of dollars, gave most of it to like his meth addict, sweet Caroline. That's when they weren't having orgies and stuff. And uh, so what happened to him? Well, he's speaking at a New York Times event coming up next week. Sam Bankman needs to go to jail. The New York Times, best we can do is a paid speaking event. The Bahamas recently sentenced a man to 2.5 years in prison for stealing $6 of hot dog buns. Sam Bankman is headlining a New York Times conference. Very effective altruism. Yeah, a guy stole $6 of hot dog buns. <laughs> he gets 2.5 years in jail in the Bahamas. Friedman steals billions. He's headlining a New York Times, which is perfect. It's the biggest propaganda commie rag out there with Janet Yellen, who's basically mentally demented, has Alzheimer's. Also, uh, Zuckerberg, who's actually, a, an, actually an android, <laughs> who's been destroying Facebook by turning it into Meta, which like 28 people have used, and it's horrible, which is just hilarious, by the way. And, uh, oh, the mayor of New York will be there, another criminal. Basically, everyone speaking at this event are all massive criminals. It's hilarious. It's just like so a sign of our times. So Bankman does one of the biggest frauds ever, and the mainstream media, the New York Times, is having him speak next week at an event to talk about his bad luck. Meanwhile, the Wall Street Journal, the saintly Sam Bankman, was on a mission from God to save humanity, but was unfairly destroyed by his evil enemies. Oh, poor Sam. 
The FTX founder pledged to donate billions. His firm's swift collapse wiped out the wealth and ambitious, ambitious philanthropic endeavors. Yeah, they actually called him saintly. <laughs> they actually had to change that headline. So many people were mocking it that they changed the headline after, but that was the screenshot of it. Here's something interesting, though. The actual article, here's something from the actual article, which is totally the opposite of what they talk about in the headline. Last week, Mr. Bankman exchanged messages with the writer at Fox, a news organization that building a stronger future is also pledged to fund. You were really good at talking about ethics, she said. I had to be, Bankman Fried responded. He went on to explain it as this dumb game we woke Westerners play where we say all the right shibboleths and so everyone likes us. So the headline is what a saint he is and how bad luck he had when uh, he stole everyone's money. But then it goes on to say that it was all an act in the article. But your average person is so dumbed down, they're fluoridated, lethally injected, they're under television mind control, <laughs> they're chemtrailed. <laughs> like, the average person can barely even read the, read the headlines. All they can really read is that Sam Bagman's a saint. <laughs> and all they remember, still to this day, if you type in Ross Ulbricht anywhere, almost everyone, all these NPC robots will go, he was, uh, he was hiring uh, people for murder. <laughs> he was never charged with that. They put that in the media and that's all anyone remembers. And why do they remember? Because it's hypnosis. It actually goes into the subconscious. And so many people, oh, it's too bad what happened to poor Sam. Seems like all the media is like, all oh, like, you know, New York Times having a big party for him. Wall Street Journal says he's a saint. <laughs> uh, we live in such an upside down world. Like, it's seriously unbelievably horrible that Ross Ulbricht is still in jail for making a website in a high security prison while Sam Bankman-Fried is being lauded at New York Times events, 